Hey, I'm Mike from the Technical Support Department. Today we'll talk about guaranteed water savings methods through the use of pressure regulation devices for the existing landscape. We'll cover three possible solutions, regulation at the system-wide level, pressure regulation at the valve level, and pressure regulation at the head location based on your unique application. Do you know what your pressure is at the nozzle? 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, or 5 bar? Many systems are installed with no regard to the exact operating pressure. If the system has, quote, good pressure, there is usually no more attention paid to the installation. In reality, the difference in liters per minute used over time with as little as 7 tenths of a bar differential is dramatic. A typical 4.6 meter fixed spray nozzle at 2.1 bar uses 7.25 liters per minute. At 2.8 bar, that same nozzle puts out about 8.2 liters per minute. That is almost a 1 liter per minute difference per sprinkler just for a 0.7 bar differential. Now let's do some quick math. We have a savings of almost 1 liter per minute per head. How many pop-ups on the averaged size zone or station? We'll use 10 for easy math. That's 10 liters per minute. Average runtime for spray heads? 10 minutes means 100 liters per zone. Average residential station count? 6. That's 600 liters per cycle. Watering 120 out of 365 days of the year, that's 72,000 liters of water saved per year just by reducing from 2.8 bar to 2.1 bar. So the first step in deciding which pressure regulation method to use would be to critique the existing system. What type of sprinklers are currently installed? How long have they been there? Is the head placement correct or the distance between heads? These are all decisions that you want to take into account. If the zones are larger, for example above 8 or 10 sprinklers, we may need to install pressure regulated pop-up sprinklers to control the pressure at the head. If the zones are smaller, we could control the pressure at the valve with an AccuSync style pressure regulator. That would leave you with the flexibility of having higher pressure available for other zones as needed. The third option is to install a system-wide regulator. That would govern all the zones on the system to the same pressure. So we've taken a look at the valve that controls this area currently running and verified there is no pressure regulation device installed at the valve level. And a quick visual look at these existing pop-ups also tells us there's no regulation built into these pop-up sprinklers either. At this point, we can turn this station or zone off and we can install the MP gauge on one of the existing pop-up bodies to verify what high pressure we have at the head currently. I have inserted the plastic tee between the nozzle and the pop-up body and turned on this example zone. As you can see, we have too much pressure right here at the nozzle. 2.1 bar is recommended for the most efficient application of water with spray type sprinklers. The PRS30 is used for 2.1 bar with spray sprinklers and the PRS40 would be used with the MP rotators to achieve 2.8 bar for most efficient operation. These do require about a 0.7 bar differential to make them work. So if we wanted to use the 2.1 bar model, we would need at least 2.8 bar incoming pressure on our initial reading with the MP gauge. So due to the size of the existing station that we're working on and the age of the equipment, we've chosen to achieve the regulation right at the head location. Now we can do that for regular spray nozzles using the Brown Top PRS30 Pro Spray Body. And if we're putting in MP rotators, they'll want the Gray Top PRS40 with the 40 PSI built-in regulator. So here I have a particularly small zone operating. I've checked the pressure at the head using the MP gauge. It was way too high. So what I've chosen to do is I'm going to regulate the pressure one time at the valve level using an AccuSync style pressure regulator. We have an adjustable model to dial in the desired pressure or the 1.5, 2, 3, 3.5 or 5 bar preset pressure models. These also require a 1 bar differential from the incoming pressure to the desired outgoing pressure to operate correctly. You can see the difference in the flow of the water at 2.1 bar. You will be using much less water during the same 10 minute run time, avoiding runoff and water waste. Remember, these are permanent guaranteed water savings. Here is an example of two different pressures being operated with the same rotor. The proper pressure on the left results in larger water droplet sizes and more uniform application of the water over the given area. 
The rotor on the right shows high pressure misting of the water making it susceptible to wind and affecting the distribution uniformity. So here we have the third option and this is system wide pressure regulation. We're here at the point of connection or at the beginning of the main line as it enters the rest of the property. You can install a system wide regulator, say if you've got you know, upwards of 8 bar coming into the property, you can reduce that pressure down to say 4.5 or, or 5 bars if the zones are all about the same size or in the same relative area. But if you have a mix of different zones and different requirements, you can reduce that incoming pressure down to about 4.5 or 5 bars and send that into the property and then make individual decisions at the valve levels or at the head levels for the different pressure requirements. So as we've shown you, water savings through pressure regulation is a simple way to conserve water, one of our most precious resources. Hunter offers a complete line of pressure regulation options starting at the head location, the PRS30 and the PRS40 pressure regulated spray bodies. You can also achieve control at the rotor head level by using the PRB pressure regulated bodies. They have a regulator built in the base of the body. That's for the PGP Ultra and the i20 series. You can also control your pressure at the valve level. This is for micro spray. It's got the valve, the filter, and the regulator all built in drip zone control kits. Or you can regulate pressure simply at the valve with an AccuSync adjustable or preset version. This is for valve level control. And you can step this up one more level to the system level and use this as a master valve and regulate the entire pressure on the system using an AccuSync at the system level. Based on your needs, you may incorporate some or all of these suggestions in your design to maximize water savings and efficient application of the water. For more information, refer to our website, hunterindustries.com.